Grand Millennial Style in the Kitchen by Krista Harris. The term Grand Millennial was coined by Emma Bazilian in her article for House Beautiful last fall to describe a new granny chic style amongst millennials. The aesthetic has really come into its own during the shelter-in-place era, given its comfy, homey, and reassuring vibe. And who amongst us does not crave comfort right now? The hallmarks of the look include floral and toile prints for wallpaper and fabrics, needlepoint, wicker, tufted cushions, crochet and lace, retro fixtures, and appliances. It's essentially all things traditional, many of which never really go out of style, but this traditionalism is having a moment right now, and certain elements that seemed out of style for the past several years are now being loved again. Hello, skirted tables and pleated lampshades. Grand millennials cherish the hand-me-downs they get from their grandparents, but also embrace thrift store finds. For inspiration, follow these Instagrammers, Vanya Wilkinson Interiors, Heritage Goods and Supply, Eddie Ross, and Whimsy Antiques, and YouTuber The Daily Connoisseur. How does the grand millennial style relate to the kitchen? Well, I would argue that just as we crave comfy vintage vibes in our living space right now, we are also in need of reassurance at the dinner table. The rise of home cooking means that we're spending a lot more time around the dining table too. So whether you are a millennial or not, here are some tips for bringing grand millennial style to your kitchen and dining room. Blue and white china. You can find blue and white dishware in all sorts of patterns at all sorts of price points. You may even have some in your cupboard already. The beauty of it is that you can mix and match the patterns or combine with plain white dishes. Even the more ornate and colorful old china patterns often combine well with each other. Old silverware. Just as blue and white dishware mixes so well together, old sterling or silver plated place settings can be combined. Old sets often have unusual pieces that are fun to use, such as long handled iced teaspoons, round bowl soup spoons, fish and cocktail forks. And don't be afraid to put your silverware in the dishwasher. Just be sure never to mix it with stainless steel cutlery. A chemical reaction happens when the two metals are touching that can damage both. Floral table linens. Stop saving your cloth napkins for special occasions and start using them at every meal. Grand millennials use vintage floral prints and linens with crochet trim or embroidery to great effect. They are easy to incorporate into your lifestyle too. I've used Provence style printed napkins from Williams Sonoma for years and they come out right out of the dryer ready to fold and use without ironing and the floral print hides the inevitable stains. A tablecloth, placemats, and or a runner can add another design opportunity. If you have kids or messy eaters, you might look for a vintage patterned oil cloth tablecloth on Etsy. Try the shop Freckled Sage. Vintage Finds Whether something is found in the back of your cupboard, your parents' basement, or an online thrift shop, there are many quirky, nearly obsolete objects that can contribute to the grand millennial style. An old-fashioned butter dish is practical as well as charming in the kitchen or on the table. Start using a teacup and saucer instead of a mug for your coffee or tea, and go the extra mile by using a sugar bowl and creamer set along with it. Not everything has to be used exactly how it was originally intended. The bottom of old salt shakers can make a tiny windowsill vase for sprigs of herbs. Retro coffee. Your grandmother or great-grandmother may have made coffee in a percolator. They were quite popular until the 1970s and 80s when everyone switched to using automatic drip coffee makers. A percolator is simple to use and can make delicious coffee. Add water to the bottom of the pot and ground coffee to a filter basket connected with a small tube. Set it on the stove and when the water begins to boil, the water is pushed up the tube and saturates the coffee before dropping back down. It's best served immediately. 
Percolators are still easy to find since they are often used on boats or when camping. Be sure to use a coarse ground coffee, and if you have leftover coffee, refrigerate it for later. It makes great iced coffee, especially if you freeze some in ice cube trays and use the coffee ice cubes when serving. Classic comfort food. It's not just what's on your dining room table, it's what's for dinner. Every family and culture has its own traditional favorites when it comes to comfort food, some of which we forget about. Cookbooks from the 1920s, 30s, and 40s often have classic recipes that are worth rediscovering. If you have any recipes from your grandparents, now is the time to try them out. Some ideas include meatloaf and mashed potatoes, chicken pot pie, or tuna noodle casserole. Try starting off dinner with a shrimp or fruit cocktail. Bake a pie or a jelly roll cake for dessert. I do draw the line at jello salad with bits of canned fruit suspended in it, but that's just me. In the first few weeks of the shelter in place order, I cooked for a week using recipes from two of my cookbooks from the 1940s. Nancy Oster, one of our edible writers and recipe testers, wrote to me, My cousins and I have been exchanging family comfort food recipes from our childhood, which means we have made things like French blue cheese salad dressing, sloppy joes, my aunt's Pennsylvania Dutch beef soup with pot pie noodles, and another aunt's banana oatmeal cookies. It's fun to hear what different family members remember with childhood joy. We have a family WhatsApp group and bi-monthly Zoom call that stretches from England to Hawaii. For younger millennials in their early 20s who may be just learning to cook, some Zoom cooking calls might be both instructional and inspiring. Ask family members to cook a favorite dish while you watch and ask questions. Perhaps granny chic cooking will become a trend right alongside the white wicker chairs and floral cushions of grand millennial style. If it brings a little good cheer and comfort, I'm all for it.